Hello, co-op workers, and welcome back to the Harvestin Sledathon on Twisted Wonderland English server side. So, book three has now been released, so I believe that I'm guessing book three and maybe four have been dropped in the second part this time around, because this whole event is split up into three parts. So last we left off, we got to stop by Apple's house and get our new fits, which is uh, the apple pom wear with the cute pom pom hats and the um, special harvesting outfit specifically for the sledathon. So we got to see everyone in their new outfits. It's really cute. And now we are on to book three, touring the market. I love how you can see so many apple trees and orchards in Harveston and Apple's house is all the way on the edge there so it looks like he's got some neighbors to the west and south but no one you know, on the east side. Kind of interesting to see the little layout there. You can kind of tell how very rural and country side this is. the hype. Oh, okay. Grandma's got everything ready. Who this is? Granny Marja, or is it Mahar? Mar Marja? Oh, I think it's Marja. Oh yeah, you are definitely Apple's grandmother. I can see their family resemblance. Oh, finally we get to see Mima. <laughs> Already going off on the embarrassing childhood stories. <laughs> I love it. I can hear the accents in my head. I wish I could really do that proper pronunciation of what I'm hearing. I could try, but I just trust me, it's the thick sounder accent I hear it in my brain. Marja looks so cute. I love how she's all decked out in purple too, just like Apple. And looks like they have the similar eye colors. I think Marja's uh, her eyes seem lighter than Apple's, but very similar. She looks so cute, to be honest. <laughs> okay, she just switches up the accent. Wow, idiot, just go straight away be like... It's like, oh, thank you for being so... My friends with my grandson. Idiot's like, actually, I don't even talk to this dude. No man diving to negative matters. It's like, wow, setback. Really forward of you there.
No, that that is one hundred percent just idiot. Oh, hello. My name is Koa. It's a pleasure to be you. But hi there. I'm Koa. <laughs> I, I I'll just hit the second choice. That's such a lie, Graham. We're cleaning up after your messes. <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch. People just complete for the winning title? Do you mean compete? No, no, it's a typo there or not. Good luck for a whole year. Oh man, I could really use that, especially when rolling for gotcha. Now we have to win this letathon. Sixth place. Wow, a whole 50 thaw marks. Glad to see them so pumped to win. I don't think I could. I mean, yeah, winning first place for bragging rights. Is would be nice, but I would also like to have a trophy, maybe at least, or a cash prize. That would really get me motivated. Oh. Oh, here he is. Apple Pop Idia. <laughs> Look at him. I like how his hair is braided, because. I've always been curious about the physics of his hair because it seems like it's on fire but it's also physical in the sense that you can shape it and braid it. It looks nice though. I mean he looks like he's having fun and you know what, you do you little man. Actually being happy there in your card. <laughs> もちろんアニメの舞台巡り。やりたくないことはそれ以外の全部。Wow, I mean, you're dedicated with your one-track mind. Only anime sites, only the pilgrimage to the locations in anime, and nothing else. Amazing. So we need to clear the whole story and get 400 apple pies. All right, cool. We got ourselves an SR idea. I'm so happy you finally got to meet Apple's Meemaw. I love meeting the family members of the Twist guys. I want to see more family members, you know? I, I want to see some of their mothers or maybe other like siblings, fathers. Grandmother, other grandmothers. Oh, cute. We can we make stuff animal from scratch? Okay. Oh, cool. It will.
I guess if you choose a heavy fabric, it will slow it down. <laughs> you look at what Fabric's previous winners use. Wow. I mean, you know he's got he's got the right idea. Oh, Subex going for aesthetics. <laughs> what are you what are you thinking of, Jade? What what do you pick? Why are you smiling like that? Green and brown design. Well, I guess they didn't want to go too hard on kid. <laughs> Why do you say that with such like happiness <laughs> on your face. You see, that was such pride. Is an apple of the Felmir family. Wow, you even got a nickname from all those fights. Well, you're now the poison apple of Palm Fury, so how about that, Apple? <laughs> Rising Drago, Mount Mole. Harvison's Raging Bronco, giving you more of a Yankee name there. Hey, he technically didn't give himself that nickname. Someone else did for him. Have animal. <laughs> An octopus. Okay. Is there a rule against sea animals? <laughs> Looking forward to watching octopus tug his leg. Mm, okay, I feel like I feel like he's uh, taking out some internal sadism or anger out on a certain uh, mer octopus back at R NRC. Just say out loud, Jay, that you want to witness some, uh, the equivalent of Azul desperately trying to pull you around. Has <laughs> the idiot got that reference immediately? 
Yikes. <laughs> Reindeer are the top pick, okay. <laughs> okay, right after he says that. like them <laughs> he says looking at grim This guy talking like he's been in a sled race before. <laughs> wow, I'm su that's surprising. Snorts. Oh, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> he at least he's honest, even if rude. Lightning. <laughs> My god, Sebek. Sebek's so funny because he is so easy to string along. First, he falls for Apple's like "woe is me" speech to join the race, and now he falls for India's whole spiel about squirrels being the best. Surprise! Surprisingly gullible.
Well, let's hope your squirrel plushie doesn't fall apart at the seams, Sebek. That's nice of you, Marja. Pretty fast, two or three hours. Wash, washing hands. Good, good thing to do before eating. true. <laughs> I love how it's just like you suck it up and wash your hands in the well. Like, are they washing it with a bucket being poured out onto the hands or sticking their hands directly into the well? Because you're sticking your hands directly into the well, I feel like that defeats the point of disease prevention. <laughs> Damn, Jay. I guess those who live in the Coral Sea are just built differently. Yes, <laughs> wow. Ah, yes, yeah, more Snow White references.
I'm down if he'll help you win. He's immersing himself in the experience. <laughs> okay. A <laughs> hundred foils. I wish for us to have a good time at the sled -a -thon. <laughs> no one has a united wish. Everyone was just wishing for themselves. Yeah, hmm. Considering NRC has never won against RSA because of their poor teamwork. Team Unity is, uh... Kind of, an o <laughs> kind of an oxymoron at this point. Mmm, apple pie. Aw, oh, that snowman's so cute! Of course, it's called Apple Square. That's really cute. Mmm, apple juice. All these sound really good. for something hot. Yeah, that sounds great. I love to have some hot drinks in the winter. <laughs> of course, Graham. All these sound super good. Not gonna lie, I could really go for some apple juice myself. All these talks of apples makes me really want to eat one now.
<laughs> Five meters in diameter? Wow, that is a giant apple pie. Whoa, and free of charge. <laughs> oh, it's, it was too late. He already ate it. <laughs> Grim just ferally eating apple pies. <laughs> I kind of, I'm like trying to picture that. It's kind of a funny image to see a cat devouring these pies with his like paws and just ripping into it. Oh, red as apple. That's kind of cute. They incorporated a tradition like that. Of course, Graham. Of course you're not. <laughs> Just say anything that you can't eat. Okay, only one free slice from the big pie. I mean, they do look tasty. Oh, wow. Aquarius Queen loved apple pies? <laughs> the best. Bring him a harvest and apple pie. Mmm, true delicacy. A lot of Apple references here, Snow White. I guess like pesticides and you want to keep your stuff organic.
Ooh, farmer market goods. Whoa, I don't know what any of these are. I just assume they're different kinds of mushrooms. I'm glad Jade is having fun. I have no idea what mushrooms he's talking about, but you know what? He's having a good time. That's all that matters. You can't just go around eating things off the mountains, Grim. <laughs> Idia, you are not the one who need calls others cringy. And this is part calling Kettle Black. You have no right to be hating on Jade's mushroom fungi obsession. When Mr. I am gonna retrace all of these anime girls footsteps in this anime so I can relive the experience myself. Right, he's he is having Jay is having a good time. He is enjoying his mushroom hobby. He is happy with his purchases, whatever it is, wildlife he is buying. That does sound tasty. I don't think I've ever really had dried meat. Okay, I can I can see it for soup stock. Like using dried fish for soup stock would really bring out the flavor. <laughs> of course. Near shopping. Your wooden hand carved goods. 
<laughs> Blooper whistles are Floyd and Zool. Okay. So she just whistles in the shape of cute little birds. Seems like an odd gift choice. <laughs> I feel like Jay is buying it just so he can see what they look like blowing on these bird whistles and then secretly laughing at them on the inside. Hmm. Oh wow, that was fast. Queen's Castle? Ooh, I mean, that sounds fun to build. <laughs> Damn it, yeah, you're going for a speed run here. Okay, a kitty cat model. Okay, India, no need for the added insult. Fights over them. Hmm, they look nice and cushiony. true like he already sleep falls asleep standing up let alone even give him an even comfier pillow or cushion Hmm. 
giving him a cuckoo clock. Doesn't Silver have like three clocks in his room already, if I remember from the Wish Upon a Star event? He's got like several clocks, so I guess what? What? It doesn't hurt to have one more clock in his room, right? More alarms that he to have. It's also interesting that Idia can just put those puzzle pieces together so fast, but then you realize that, yeah, he is a uh, technomatic, whatever you call, like, engineering magical genius, essentially. So despite, it's, it's funny because he's a dweeb, but it's, you have to remember that, like, oh right, he is a super genius at the same time. Hmm. I should get something for everyone, or maybe one thing. I feel like I should get something for Ace and Deuce, you know, when I go back. So maybe I should get something for everyone. Oh, sure. Sounds good. Oh, garlic flavor. I also like garlic. Yeah, I'm sure Ace and Deuce would like that. Share some snacks with them, I'm sure they appreciate it. Washing soap. Okay, organic. I mean, it does seem fitting to give them some hand- homemade or handmade hand soaps. chicken wing. That's so cute. <laughs> a record. <laughs> Is that impossible? Okay. 
<laughs> Marja! What? Darnation? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, Viva. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, right, Viva is. Getting really serious there now. <laughs> Grandma, don't give a shit. You're gonna win whether you like it or not. Spook them. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Apple gets a lot of his attributes from his grandmother. Okay, ma'am. I guess we have to. I don't... I want to disappoint me ma now. I want to disappoint Apple's grandmother. That's a sh that's a shame worse than losing. <laughs> it's really funny just seeing that 180 degree turn in personality. It's like, whoa, whoa, okay, man, we're, we're going. We're, we're gonna pick up the animals. We're gonna go sled practicing now. Okay, we'll win. <laughs> Oh, you did not? Okay, what did you have as a kid? <laughs> I'm a sandbag. Who gave you a sandbag as a kid? That does make sense. Okay, says the guy who clearly has two plushies in his room. I see them, Midia. They're on the top of your drawer, your drawer or dresser or whatever. There is a plushie there. You can't lie to me and say you never had a plushie at all.
Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting serious mode again. Time to head to the Sledathon grounds. it takes to get through the entire mountain. Whoa, 30 team. That's quite a lot. Stand. Don't hurt me. <laughs> You're in it to win it. Got it. Marja will will do it. <laughs> You're going backwards, Sebek. Ooh, a wipeout already.
<laughs> yeah, I'll push forward. All right, I mean, anything I can do to help? Sure. All right, let's get to it. We gotta practice. Oh, and we're to chapter 11. <laughs> Alright, this this guy needs some positive reinforcement. Give him some good old head pats. Like you did good. Gold star for you, head pat here. What a good boy. You've been doing great. Mushers. Oh, that's nice. I mean, sure, if there's something I can do. Yeah, I'm here for whatever you need. <laughs> Wild sabotage. I mean, I'm all ears. I'm interested in hearing how you're gonna sabotage the other team. Hot toot. Wow, Sebek. <laughs> he was really witnessing this guy get into a snowball fight with a cat. Oh, and Jade has joined the fight now. Oh no, he got hit.
Grim, you have sealed your fate. I am not responsible for whatever comes next. You brought this upon yourself. My turn! A snowball fight with each other. Ah. Jay, you can't s you say that as if you weren't participating in said appalling behavior moments ago. What a sneaky little shit. It's the dwarves! And their cute little tiny coats. <laughs> ah, I think I remember your names as Hop, Doc, and Grum, I guess. I feel like his name used to be Grand, and then it, they might have changed it now. It's just Grum. I remember them. <laughs> I mean, they're also you don't all you also don't meet dwarves every single day, and they were kind of you know part of the winning team back at. SDC. Oh hey, it's also oh, I try to remember all their names now. One of them was named Toby, I remember. <laughs> yeah, it's Royal Sword Academy. Oh wow, okay. And we have cleared a book three. We've read all the currently available story contests. Oh wow, okay. I mean that was a interesting way to kind of stop the book for a time being. We got to see the dwarves again from RSA. You know, I still think a lot of them are really cute. I think Hop is one of my favorites. And then um I can't remember some of their other names. I remember the first three, but then I think one of them was Toby, and then I don't quite remember the rest of them. But they're so cute in their little winter coats, but if they're here, I think it's safe to assume they're probably there for the sled -a as well. If we're gonna do the whole RSA versus Night Raven College all over again. So yeah, that was a pretty fun chapter in our book in terms of going around and touring Harveston. Like, I love kind of going around the place and trying out the local foods and sightseeing. Just like we did back at the fireworks festival and the um, land of uh, Scalding Sands with uh, Jabil as a tour guide. So now we have Apple showing around Harveston and honestly every time they kept talking about apple juice and apple pies, I can just smell and taste it. Like man, I could really go for some apple juice now. Some or some like, you know, apple ginger tea. That sounds really good. Really, really refreshing. It's like wow, would love to uh, visit Harveston myself. Even in the in the cold temperatures, and then we got to meet Apple's granny, like Grandma Marja. Love her. She's so cute, but then also really fierce when she wants to be. Like, yeah, Grandma, you go. You push those boys to win this sled race. 
I really enjoyed that as well. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed book three with me. Let me know what was your favorite part. There are so many good parts in it that um, it was really fun to see. And then also I'm looking forward and seeing what's ahead in book four, you know, once we get the whole sledding part and everything. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know how you're finding the Harvest and Sledathon so far. Would you participate in the Sledathon yourself if you could? I mean, it sounds really interesting, but I also don't like the cold and sledding at night. It's a bit of a eh factor for me, but I'd be happy to eat all the food and harvest it and cheer the boys on instead. Alright, so until next time then, subscribe for more twist content and more playthroughs in the future when the next parts drop and we can go through them together. And until then, this is Koamio clocking out, so bye!